This is my race report for rat races, The Wall. The Wall is an iconic ultramarathon. It's 70 miles long and it goes all the way from Carlisle Castle to the Millennium Bridge in Gateshead. The route takes on some absolutely stunning trails and there is breathtaking scenery as you go across sections of Hadrian's Wall. However, I would say this is not a fully trail ultra. It's probably about approximately half and half. I personally wore road shoes. I would recommend road shoes. I wore my Altra Torrens and they were great. The day before we arrived at the race registration, um, and this was in the Crown and Madge Hotel, very smooth process. Rat Races organisation was impeccable. One thing to note is there is quite an extensive kit list for the wall. You've got your usual emergency gear, but there are a few extra things. So it's worth bearing in mind that you do have to carry quite a heavy pack uh, for the full distance. On the morning of the race, we took the short walk towards the start line. All of the bag drops um, were very, very smooth. There was a buoyant, um, quite chilled, um, filled with anticipation kind of atmosphere and before too long the klaxon had sounded and we were off. Go, 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 In the end it wasn't the blazing sunshine we'd feared although it was a very hot day. So the way the aid stations worked was they were split into two different types so they had some minor checkpoints and these generally had just water with some sweets and maybe some crisps. However, there were five full pit stops which were absolutely brilliant. They had a full range of anything you could possibly imagine you might need. So for example, the first one had fresh pastries, fresh fruit, and um, there were plenty of sandwiches um, later on. And the one at Hexham was really extensive. It had a lot of hot food, hot soup, um, Coca-Cola, that kind of thing. So yeah, the aid stations were absolutely brilliant. The favourite part of the route for me was the section between the Wall Town Quarry Pit Stop and the Sill Pit Stop, because this took in the um, wall and it was quite technical, lots of steps. But as you can see from the photographs, it was absolutely stunning. Really, really magical section of the route. After the sill, there were some quite long sections of Roman road, really, really long straight roads. Um, and later on, there were some very long sections of paths, tree-lined paths. The memory becomes a bit of a blur. I wish I'd taken more photographs and videos along the way uh, to preserve that memory because it really was a fantastic day and very well supported. The camaraderie between all of the other participants and the supporters along the route was absolutely brilliant. After the final pit stop at Newburn, we had to turn our head torches on. We arrived there at just before 10, I think, and the last seven miles were pretty tough because they, well, it was dark, it started to rain, and it was, you know, we were very tired. So that was a challenging part, but luckily my teammate got me through that bit. So the last couple of miles was absolutely brilliant. Um, we were going past lots of people who seemed to be on their nights out so they were very jolly and inebriated and didn't hold back in cheering us on it made us feel like superheroes and that last stretch along the river when we spotted that millennium bridge in the distance it was just something else and we gradually approached it and our supporters met us there and running over that bridge it was joyful we crossed the line in about 16 and three quarter hours so we'd got there before midnight which is what we were really hoping for we managed to finish, I think, 22nd and 23rd female out of 80 something, maybe. Doing the wall had, has been quite a journey. Um, there's been a few setbacks along the way, but really and truly, what a magical experience. I feel so grateful to my family, to my friends and my running club mates and our supporters, um, my husband, Jamie and my coach. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, everyone.